Voting is underway in today's primaries in Kentucky, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Idaho, and Oregon. Some places just have a few hours left for voters to get to the polls. This is a live look now at several polling places in Pennsylvania, and this is Lancaster, Pennsylvania, two states including North Carolina. With primaries, we are closely watching. News Nation's Kelly Meyer joining us live in Pennsylvania. So, Kelly, tell us how Election Day is shaping up there. Hey, Nicole, well, it's been a busy day here, and we're seeing a lot of activity now coming in and out of this polling place. We're about 40 uh, miles outside of Philadelphia. People are getting out of work and coming in here to vote. We were out here earlier today, and it's definitely more active here now. Uh, Volunteers here saying it's been slow but steady and a good turnout for a primary, but the day hasn't been short of its surprises. Uh, as we mentioned, we're learning that Democratic candidate John Fetterman, the progressive candidate, uh, just days after suffering what he calls a minor stroke, is undergoing what his campaign calls a short procedure to have a pacemaker inserted to help protect his heart. Tweeting this photo today showing him voting inside the hospital using an emergency absentee ballot. All of this as voters were heading to the polls in the Keystone State. We are all across these counties surrounding Philadelphia talking with voters who were split, Republican and Democrat, and not only that, but within the parties themselves. Take a listen. Do you think that divide, though, that, that back and forth, that fighting within the party is what's keeping, like you said, keeping people away Absolutely. Here? Absolutely. It's disgusting. And we're watching to see if the Republican candidate, the underdog in the U.S. Senate race, Kathy Barnett, holds on to the lead that she's been seeing in the past several days over Dr. Mehmet Oz and David McCormick, and if she could pull off a win tonight. On the Democratic side, as we mentioned, John Fetterman, the progressive candidate, he is ahead in the polls over Democratic moderate Connor Lamb. If he wins tonight, he will be celebrating from inside the hospital as he recovers. Nicole? All right, Kelly Meyer live for us in Pennsylvania this evening. Thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.